All right, this next comedian coming to stage, finalist in the Magnus Comedy Fest, and she's about to leave for a London tour. Give it up, people. Cat Radley, everybody. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Fun. Um, I'm from Virginia originally. You guys heard of it? It's a state. Um, my mom lives there. I'm going to go back and visit her next week. And I always forget what it's like to visit my mom because she's really strict. She has a lot of rules. She hates cussing. Her rule is don't say anything you wouldn't feel comfortable saying in front of your granny. So that means I can't say crap. I can't say sucks. I can't say my boyfriend's black. Like, <laughs> none of that is appropriate. Um, my Grammy is actually, she just had a stroke recently. No, don't worry, she's fine. Evil never dies. And <laughs> she now is like really senile. She was telling me a story the other day and she was like, Cat, when I was a little girl, I lived on a cruise ship and my black butler taught me how to tap dance. <laughs> And I'm listening to her, and I was like, Grammy, that's a Shirley Temple movie. <laughs> that's the plot of Good Ship Lollipop. <laughs> Not your life. And it made me wonder, what child actor am I going to confuse my own life with when I'm old and senile? I'll just sit my grandkids down, and I'll be like, kids, listen. When I was a little girl, my family left me home by myself over Christmas. <laughs> I had to booby trap my house in the And then when I was eight, I went through a phase where I saw dead people. <laughs> Fucked up childhood, I know. Uh, my Grammy actually hates the fact that I'm a stand-up comedian, uh, probably because I make fun of her. And I actually, she loves my day job. I'm actually a high school teacher during the day. Um, it's really cute, you guys pretend to care. Um, it's summertime, so fuck them, right? <laughs> Put me on record saying that. No, please don't. Um, though this past spring, I was head of the prom committee, and my kids were like, oh, Miss Radley, we want to do a sock hop and have like a really authentic 1950s prom. And I was like, kids, great idea. We can totally do a 50s prom. But you realize that if we do, the black kids won't be able to come. So, <laughs> think this through. Okay. Cheering for historical segregation. That's, that's on you guys. Um, I, uh, my best friend just got married. And, um, good, I'm glad you didn't clap for that. And she called me the other day and she was like, oh my god, Kat, Mike and I bought a house. And I was like, oh, you own a house now, too. Congratulations. And she's like, thanks. How are you doing? What? You don't know why that's funny yet, sir. <laughs> and I was like, um, I'm great, okay? It just so happens that I recently borrowed $100 from my dad to join eHarmony, so things are going equally well. Thank you for asking. Um, and I actually am online dating. Anybody here online dating? I recognize half of you, so you're lying. <laughs> Though I got a message from a guy the other day. The only thing the message said was, hey girl, I want to lick your butthole. <laughs> but he spelled hole. W-H-O-L-E. So I was like, all right. Maybe this guy does want to lick my butthole, and he's a horrible speller. Or maybe he wants to lick my whole butt, and he's dyslexic. Or maybe he wants to lick my whole butthole. And he was really pressed for time. None of those scenarios are deal breakers. Okay? So I get uh, speaking of buttholes, let's talk about my sex life for a minute. I actually when I was 16 I told myself that I was gonna wait for true love. So I actually didn't lose my virginity until I was 27. I'm 26 now. So really high hopes for next year. Uh, Alright, thanks a lot guys. I'm Cat Radley. Thank <laughs> you.